I built my office a couple of years ago and all the furniture I've built for it is handmade in oak. I needed something to hang my hat and coat on when I came out here from the house or workshop. I found a nice off cut from my oak box of scraps and lined up against the wall where I planned to put it. My plan was to use some three quarter inch oak dowel at a 45 degree angle to create a peg to hang the items on. But I don't have a pillar drill quite yet, so I needed to make a simple jig to drill into the oak board. I had some scrap 2x2 two two redwood left over from my stable door build, and the link to that video is just up in the corner. I cut the redwood at a 45 degree angle lengthways and secured each half to my temporary workbench with screws. Make sure to recess the screws so the workpiece can sit flush. This part of the jig creates a stable platform for the oak board to sit on at a 45 degree angle. I then took another 45 degree angle piece of redwood and held that on top of the oak board before taking a 3 quarter inch forstner bit and drilling through that flat redwood scrap and then down into the oak board set on the 45 degree jig. Make sure you clean away all your debris so the drill bit doesn't bind in a piece. Also by using the jig it prevents tear out. There you have it, a clean 45 degree 3 quarter inch hole for the oak dowel. To insert the oak dowel, you need to cut that also at a 45 degree angle, so I did that on the miter saw. I then replaced the piece back on the jig and using a tap hammer drove in the oak dowel until it came out the back of the oak board. I then went ahead and trimmed the oak dowel flush with the back of the board using a Japanese Ryoba saw. I love these Japanese saws, they're really really great for intricate work. They actually cut on the pull stroke so it's much easier to control once you get the hang of it. At this point I made a bit of a design change. I was going to have the rack as a flat piece, but I decided to make it a bit more interesting by making it a triangular. I cut the board in half, sanded everything down, and then took both pieces over to the table saw. I set the blade to 45 degrees and run each piece with the table saw to create a right angle join. These came together really nicely, so I cut the other side of each piece. This creates a flat surface on the back of the joined pieces to sit against the wall when I come to install it later. I'm using Type 1 Original to glue these pieces together. I don't need anything tougher as this joint will be under very little stress. I put a generous amount of glue on, brush that in and let the weight of the pieces create its own clamping pressure once aligned. I then cut some small triangle pieces over at the miter saw. These will fit into the top and bottom of the rack, closing up each end. Again, I apply a generous amount of Type 1 Original to the inside of the coat rack, and then insert the bottom piece. I then took some fine sawdust from my orbital sander to fill any small voids in the join, binding them with a the glue squeeze out. A couple of hours later, after the glue had fully dried, I sanded away the excess and then continued to sand the whole piece, up to 120 grit to prepare to finish. I came up with another design change. I had a half inch five pound magnet handy from another project, so I thought a magnetic key holder on the underside would be a nice little extra. Using a half inch force a bit, I drill a recess. Check the fit, then using liquid glue, uh, an epoxy style product from Type Bond, I glued the magnet in place, clamping it down and setting it aside overnight to dry. I then finished the coat rack with a couple of coats of Danish oil, slightly sanding between coats. With the second and third small triangles I cut earlier over at the miter saw, I wanted to make a DIY mountain bracket as I didn't have anything else spare available. One small triangle goes on the top of the coat rack. I glue it in and also drive in some wood screws to reinforce this joint. They won't be seen of course once the coat rack is mounted on the wall. However, first I inserted some 10mm oak dowels to the underside. 
With the third triangle, I drilled some 10mm holes in the same place as the oak dowels in the other piece. You want these holes to be slightly deeper so the dowels can be fully inserted. As you can see, this piece has attached the wall as a mountain bracket and the coat rack slots on top, the oak dowels from the top piece creating a nice snug fit. I'm really happy with this piece and love the useful design features like the magnetic key holder and the angled faces allowing items to be hung in close proximity but not bunched up, meaning it takes up less wall space. So thanks for watching and if you like this piece but don't fancy making it yourself, I actually have it for sale on my new website dearrivercraftsman.com. Go ahead and click that link and you'll find other project videos and my blog on the website as well. I hope to see you again soon.